What? So it's the Amanda, shock. Abort mission. I just absolutely had no idea that was coming. Wow. It's just, I, I hate to laugh, but it, it is just so crazy. And in times like that, I'm going to laugh because it's so insane. What's up, my degenerates? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut. We're feeling silly. We're feeling rageful. We're feeling excited. And we're full. Our bellies. And this time, it's it's both of us. <gasps> Those last two girls that you saw? Holograms. Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I watched Cotty with the Trans Meatballs at 6 in the morning. Okay, so. And uh, it's reminding me <laughs> there's a lot of holograms in it. And it was all holograms, Chris. Really? Yeah. You know. They were on a hologram machine and all the good bad guys turned into holograms and you couldn't find which one was the real one. You know, there's some cartoons in life. There's some cartoons in life that remind you of people, you know? Yes. And he's one of those. Who Cloudy with the Chins of Meatballs? Yeah, what's his name in that? Um, Like Derek? Oh, scientist. Oh. Oh, no, it's like F- uh, Flint. Flint, yeah. It's Flint. Flint looks like somebody that I know. I know. Well, and you know, it's sass? kind of... No, 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 no. Oh. Jack McCarthy. Oh, <laughs> my God, yeah. <laughs> you guys wouldn't know. <laughs> no, but that's some guy we know, and he looks just like Flint. Right? Yeah. And then there's like Sid. Sid? From from Toy Story, he looks oh, like somebody. I you were going to say the sloth. I was going to say, don't ever call someone that. People, no, yeah, no. And then people say, people look like Sid the sloth. That's what, are, what are more cartoons? Like, oh, you look like... Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. Um, Homer Simpson. Homer... I've never looked at someone and said, you look <laughs> just like Homer Simpson. I get a lot of comments say that I sound like Homer Simpson. Okay. Mm-hmm. There is a differential thing mm-hmm. there. That's a big word. <laughs> yeah, thank you mm-hmm. so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, been reading up on the dictionary. No way. What's and what? the Bible. Wow. Did you know... At the same time. Where the dictionary started? Um, Connecticut, Italy. everything, everything. This is going to blow your mind. The first of like everything was in Connecticut. Mm-mm, Boston, yes. baby. No. Don't forget your Crazy. roots. Crazy. Connecticut, everything started in Connecticut. Are you saying it insane? What? Connecticut? Connecticut. 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 C-O-N-N-E-C-O-T-T-E-T. Connecticut. Connecticut. Uh-huh. I never could do that. Uh, wait, I don't even know what that is. Gibberish. Oh, I can never do it either. But I can, if you do it, if you can, oh, you can't do it. But if you were to talk, if you were to talk in it, I could tell you what you were saying, but I don't know how to do it. I think my cousin behind my back would always call me like gay because they thought it was cool to say like, oh my God, you're being so gay. Mm-hmm. And God, they'd always stuff, do gibberish that. and they'd be like, gotta go, gotta go, gotta gay, gotta gay, gotta gay. And I'd be like, mm, pretty sure you're calling me gay. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, honestly. No, that was a memory. I just fucking unlocked. <laughs> Okay, new character unlocked. It's called a bad memory. Stip. <laughs> Stay up, bro. Dude, I'm right here. I gotta put this away, Jay. That's fine. It's a pumpkin from old times. Oh my god. You know what we can finally talk about and it's the big news? What are you about to say something crazy? What were you saying about Connecticut? Everything first started there. Okay. It's like mind blowing, dude. You mm-hmm. name one thing, started in Connecticut. It's Rice fucking Krispie crazy. Treats. Yeah, started in Connecticut. <laughs> Not even it. kidding. First hot air balloon started in Connecticut. First pic- printed picture started in Connecticut. First everything started in Connecticut. Why do you know this and how? Uh, whenever I'm bored on road trips, I say, what's the 10 historical facts oh. of where I am? At least you're educating yourself. Uh, yeah, but it's just like, wow, kind of crazy. Connecticut was the start of it all. First law school, first everything. First graduates, That's first literally everything. so fake, I feel like. I know, right? I was What about Havid? Oh, my God. What no. about Havid? No, it was DL. First law school graduate or something like that. First lawyer. First all the shit. I'm you sure got- I'm wrong about everything, but I mean, the fucking website said it. Dude. People told me last week on last episode that I can't talk about religion when I was talking about Mother Mary's hernia. They said, don't speak on religion if you don't know what you're talking about. That's what I know. You're allowed in your religion to believe whatever you want. Well, you know what I had all wrong? (laughs) I guess Australia is the most atheist in the world. Really now? And I said, they're all going to church, Catholic church. Every day. Listen, my fault. I'm a little biased. My opinion was skewed. I was staying across from a church. They were going in and out. Of course they were. <laughs> they were there. <laughs> I was in and out, in and out. And I'm like, wow, everyone's going to church here. Now that's an assumption. I guess I was wrong. Yeah. yeah. I guess it was just those people going to that church because there was one church in front of me. The Listen, atheist, eh? Broad assumption. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everyone there is an atheist, though. About 58%. Wow. That's yeah. a high, high number. I had it wrong. There's a lot of, not a lot of people there, though. No. No. 25 million. Whole country. 25 sitting on 25 mil, huh? I have no uh, money. That's what sucks is I really, in my little stupid head, thought I was going to be 25 sitting on 25 mil. I actually wanted to be 25 sitting on 26 mil just to say, fuck you, Drizzy. 
You still have plenty of time to sit on 25 mil. You just turned 25. <sighs> Do you know what's chicken. fucking crazy? What, Brianna? I literally had to look up like pictures and to figure out my own age yesterday. That's crazy. I think I was exhausted, but I thought I was 26. Yeah, it sounds like exhaustion. I was watching a video and this guy was like, Brittany Broski was like, I'm 26, I'm almost 30. And then I go, fuck, I'm almost 30, I'm 26. Dude, and then I was like, What? What I'm not 26. I'm 25. Then You're I go, 24. What? I'm 24. Wow, that must have been a relief. Dude, I was like, <laughs> 2 minus 26 equals my age. Wow. It was awesome, dude. That's huge. I know. It was a good day. You really. shaved off two years. No I problem. I saw salt burn. Oh, you did see it? Yeah. What do you think about it? I loved it. Okay. I thought it was a great, great film. I didn't like it. Yeah, I didn't think you would. It was just boring. Uh, yeah, I thought it was great. I, it was cinematically pleasing. It was cinematically pleasing, but I thought it was going to be like deep and cool and like, but it was just one of those like euphoria things where it's just pretty to look at. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I it's mean, just, Jacob Elordi's. I mean, that's the one. Dude, I get it now. Did never got it before. I think I like, verbally said like, I don't get the whole J- Jacob Elordi thing. Watch that movie. I was like, I'm all in. It's the only thing that kept me going through that movie. I am all in. Yeah, but dude, man. Him in that orange sweater, like all those sweaters, I was like, oh, oh God. And just, just being that lovely gentleman. Such a lovely gentleman. Did not deserve what was coming he to him. He never plays a lovely gentleman. He was a lovely, lovely gentleman. I've never seen a gentleman like that in my whole life. Oh, my God, G. That was a like, lovely gentleman. He was a lovely, lovely gentleman. That little freak, the main guy. Yeah. Wow. I saw How that you coming. you 46 and play a fucking teenager? You see that coming? Obviously, yeah. That's it, why it was, the it was, movie it was, was really bad obvious. because it was so obvious the whole time what had happened. Yeah, there was no twist. There was no deeper meanings. There was no meta. Like it wasn't. There it was, was some like, metaphors in there, but they were all right in front of you. Yeah, it, yeah. You didn't have to think about it. Yeah, like, I think that's why I like it. Oh, well, Not I thought bright. like when everyone was uh, freaking out about it. I thought it was going to be like some crazy thing you had to figure out. I like movies that like make you think because when it ends, oh it's no, just, it's like, just shock value scenes. They weren't that crazy. Yeah, no, I mean, a lot of, that, that's that's what's dividing women across the nation. Oh. It seems like it's only women and, and gays seeing this movie. Mm-hmm. So it, it's like, I saw a bunch um, on, on, my, on my gay side of TikTok, everyone's yeah. saying, went and saw that with my straight friends, they're all freaking out, and all the gay people are just like. Yeah, dude, like, it's not that <laughs> shocking to see a guy get a hand job. No, he's watching him jack off. Yeah, that wasn't that shocking either. The shock factor for <laughs> many people, and I think I understand, is that the fucking, the, the corpse. That was the only part that I was like, okay, this is fucking crazy. Yeah, so you guys haven't seen this, right? And she's saying, she's saying it's not that crazy. It's no, crazy. No, but it's not that, like, crazy. There was one, that scene was crazy. I thought he was going to dig it up. Thank God he didn't, Jay. Yeah, Thank I know. God I didn't he didn't, Jay. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to see that. I didn't want to see that. that. <laughs> it was just fucking weird. And this slurping up the cum tub. That made me, the, that audibly, was, audibly, I went, Oh, what the, oh, I was gross. I was literally stood up. Zach slept the whole movie because we went to the movie to try to stay awake for the night to sleep because of the fucking uh, jet lag thing. So I'm sitting there and I'm sitting up straight. I didn't even recline because I'm like, I gotta stay awake for this yeah. whole thing. And I, when that looked came on, I went, oh, and I turned around to everyone to see if anyone cared. And no one cared. No one cared. I was like, what? Yeah. Did you care? I, uh, Brianna, I saw that by myself. So oh, I'm sitting people, there kind of friggin' weirdo. A lot of people were in the movie that are alone. I was it. trying to just not make any reactions just because <sighs> I couldn't read the room. And I'm all by myself. I look like a pervert. <laughs> and I'm just like standing there like, well, sitting there, obviously, you yeah. know, when I had the movies. Mm-hmm. And I'm just kind of watching it and I'm just kind of like, oh, straight face, straight face, straight face. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> well, I just kept looking around like, guys, what? <laughs> and it's pretty wild, man. Yeah. That, in that moment, I knew they were done for. Yeah. That yeah. moment right there. Yeah. Um, that was just, that was, that was a crazy movie. I mean, I loved see it. it, but. There's a matter on the dance floor. Epic. Can't stop with it. Banger. Cannot stop with it. I wonder how many it. remixes are going to come out with that song. Oh my God, that song is epic. Yeah. I can't, I, I literally, get, I feel like that little perv with his little wiggle dick out. Mm-hmm. But um, every, every day since I've seen that movie, I, I turn that song on and I get ready for work. I walked out of the, the movie the singing floor. and dancing. There's a murder on the dance floor. And then I was twirling like a little pervert like oh, him. Oh, yes. He's so pervy. He's so perverted. Oh, my God. And he was so, like, mm, spicy at the end. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, Ooh. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I wonder, like, when you get the script for that movie mm-hmm. and at the end it's like, I wonder how that scene writes. Yeah, I've like, thought of that before. What does it say? Balls, dick, out. You have to dance really, ooh. Yes. And then you're just like, sign me up. Flamboyant Diggle Wick. What? How did you think? Signed solo. What do you think he? Okay, the main character, mm-hmm. the creep. Yeah. Did you think he was hot? I don't know where I stand. Right. He is Irish, so. Because he was so disturbing to look at at some yeah, points, and then he was so. I was like, wait, what? Like he is. Yes, he is so 
handsome at some point. So ugly he's handsome. He ugly, like, he's like an ugly, handsome boy. And then he's a pervert. Oh, God. And it's not even when he's doing the pervert stuff. Like, obviously, that's gross. And I, yeah. But... The per like he has like this perverted look to him. He has little eyes, his yeah. little beady little fucking eyes. I mean, he's like a really good actor. He knows how to morph his face. He was really good. Sabrina Carpenter went on a date with him. Wow. Yeah. How old is he? Because I can't tell if he's forty or fucking twelve. I did a lot of research on him, and I forget all. Of I it. can't cover <laughs> Jacob Elordi in that movie, Jay. Jacob Elordi, man. <sighs> I didn't. I didn't really even get it in Euphoria either. I like got it. I didn't. No, I didn't. I was like, okay, he's like super fucking tall. Yeah. But all actors are short, so he makes himself even look taller. So sweetie boy in the movie, he was so sweet. (laughs) And I thought it was gonna twist into he had bad intentions. Nope, never did. He was just a good guy. He just came from a crazy mess. Oh my god, he was such a good guy. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah, great. Go see that movie. Yeah. It probably probably come out on streaming soon. Yeah. I feel like probably. I'm super happy about that. Um. Okay. What I was going to say, super crazy thing that we could finally talk about because we weren't allowed to talk about it and we've known about it forever, Brooke and Matt Rife. Oh, yeah. She broke the news. Yes. Uncanceled. And because Tana forced her, not forced her, but was finally like, she's finally talking about it. Mm-hmm. And it was a big thing. Yeah. Dude, we have known about Brooke and Matt Rife forever. And at Been our live show, we were like, can we talk about it? We asked her before. We were yeah. like, do you want to talk about it? Can we're we not talk villains. about it on stage? Because at our live shows, there's no recording. Mm-hmm. So we're like, we can say it. You can say it. No one's not going to get back to anyone. And it di- she diverted on stage. Mm-hmm. I think she got nervous because she, she started talking about it. She kind of, she was like, oh yeah, we'll see. Yeah. And then we brought it up and she was like, no, I know, I know Trevor Wallace. <laughs> she called I Trevor know. Wallace. Well, we didn't ambush. We were like, you dated a comedian. Yeah. And then she was like, what? And it was really <laughs> awkward on stage. It was, really was like, awkward. oh my God. <laughs> but dude guy is just bad. The guy is just bad. And this, uh, the Tana shit, um, sorry, Brooke shit didn't come out at the last episode that we recorded when yes. we talked about Matt Rife, so we didn't talk about it, but now it's like the double bird, that guy. And um, for those of you at home who don't know what we're talking about, refresh their memory. Okay, so... The Matt Rife shit is that him, he was talking to Brooke and he was being like, I, I'm so in love with you. Like, I've never felt like this about anyone before, like flying her out to places, but also doing it with multiple other girls. So when I was in the Bahamas, did I ever tell you this? I don't know. When I was in the Bahamas for my birthday, yes. I was standing at the bar and there was like this gorgeous girl alone. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. There was this gorgeous, gorgeous girl alone. And I was like, she's like, she looks so sad. She was just like drinking at the bar alone. And this is uh, probably like two or three weeks after Brooke had told me all about Matt. So this was in June. And she looks at me and she had recognized me. She like followed the podcast or like followed me on TikTok or whatever. And she comes up to me and starts, she was drunk. Mm-hmm. And so she went on this vacation because of Matt Reif. So uh-huh. she was wasted at the bar and she was like t- talking to me about like, uh, I don't know, social media and stuff. And I'm like, well, do you mind me asking, like, what are you doing here alone? Like, I'm, like, a little worried because there was, like, a bunch of, like, creepy dudes at the bar. And mm-hmm. it was, like, last call. And I'm, like, do you want to come with me to the casino? Like, are you good? And then she was, like, well, Matt Reif. And I'm, like, what? And she was, like, my ex, Matt Reif, I just found out that he had another girlfriend while we were talking. And I was, like, wait. <laughs> my friend <laughs> just found out that he had a bunch of other girls while oh, they were talking. God. And I was, like, I can't. I'm not going to fucking tell her the name. And she was, like, trying to get get it out of me. Yeah, who, yeah. who is it? Who is it? But I didn't want her to be mad at Brooke. Yeah, like, yeah. And I don't know if it was Brooke, but apparently there was multiple other girls. Yeah. And this is when I was, like, holy fucking shit. And this was also, like, Brooke had told me that they were, like, going on dates together. He had, like, flown her out for, like, Valentine's Day. And, like, oh, they were, like. that's a special one. Like, you would think someone doing that and, like, love bombing you is, like really into you and I was like oh my fucking god I can't believe he's doing this with multiple fucking girls dude there's so many girls that's crazy like if there's one girl in the Bahamas all by herself talking about this it's gotta be that's what I mean plenty of girls across the globe I was shocked I was like dude what I just found this out from Brooke and now I'm finding out from a random girl oh, in the wow. fucking Bahamas and she was so like sobbing over it because he was doing the same thing to her where she was his one and only mm-hmm. like you're mine baby girl like mm-hmm. we're gonna get married doing that to Brooke doing it to I don't even know how many other people Maddie. Crazy. Honestly, Brooke is so baller for like holding it in. Cause what if she had said this a couple, I don't know, months ago when he was super hot, people might have brushed it off. But yeah. now like the whole world hates him. And to drop another bomb on like he's actually a piece of shit. This is what he did. Mm-hmm. It's kind of crazy. Like I said, a calculated robot. Yeah. Not yeah. Brooke. Matt. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> not, not Brooke. Not Brooke. Yeah. Yeah, that's wild. So fucking crazy. Uh, it's crazy, man. What, it's just, what, what, a, what a bad guy. Yeah, you know, lead, you, leading people on like that. Not even just, they were led having that many girls at once. Oh my God, yeah. How not even, even leading. Keep up with it, dude. That's a lot of work. Dude, 
I wonder what his girlfriend right now is doing or thinking. Oh, yeah. I feel for her. That's stinky. That's really stinky. What would you do if you were her? Um, Not believe it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't? No. You would say, I love you, baby. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> uh, I'd probably to go to jail, I think. Oh, wow. Very different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Because, dude, uh, if I'm your girlfriend and then I find that out about you, mm -hmm. I'm assuming bring the other two girlfriends out of the closet. Yeah. I mean, there's got to be a couple more. Surprise, surprise. They've right? got to be everywhere, all they're over this house. They've got to be all over the country. How, they, how do they know? The world's touring. The oh, wow. One in each country, G. Well, you know. He's a player, man. I don't hate the player. I hate the game. I hate the player. I know. I, I do. I, you know, I do, too. I mean, at I least too. tell way better jokes if you're going to be a womanizer. I just, he just plays off... Um, when he's doing interviews like like he did here, it just he just plays off that he's such a nice guy, you know? Well, that's the thing we always say about people. If you're too nice, you're probably murdering people. Dude, yeah. You, if you're too... Well, I mean, we don't really go that far. There's no murder on the dance floor with that. Uh, there's but no murder on the dance floor. If you're too nice, there's something wrong with you. And maybe that's the way we grew up. But he walked out of here and we both said he was too nice. Like, <laughs> conspicuously. Is that a word? Conspicuously. Yes, of course. Conspicuously. Thank you, Dictionary <laughs> Queen. Yep, uh, that are originated in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. um, it really did, yes. Oxford Dictionary. Um, <laughs> Oxford Dictionary. Was mm -hmm. uh, fucking, he's, uh, what was that? What's the big word I just said? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Pacifist. <laughs> oh. Conspicuously, <laughs> he like if you're conspicuously nice, like he was going out of his way to make sure people thought that he was nice. Yes. If you're not just genuinely nice, like he can tell a difference. Genuine, oh, nice person. Yeah. This person trying too hard to be nice so that we, it's, he's overcompensating for being crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. red mm -hmm. flag. Throw it up, coach. He even called me pretty. That's when I knew he was a liar. Oh, I said, <laughs> okay, maybe he's genuinely nice after that, but he's a bad guy. Yeah, no, yeah. and it's all laid out on the floor. There it is. And Brooke is just getting. Fucked over. I know. I gotta give her a fucking hug. Yeah, yeah, man. How do you? She went from faking, you know what, the fucking faking murder of oh, parents I know, dude. and family boyfriend to boyfriend that has multiple girlfriends boyfriend. That is a bad set of luck. <laughs> she is too gen trusting. Yeah, she's sweetheart. Oh god, she's a sweetheart. You know, we've gotta we've, we've gotta, gotta find her the right, right guy. We gotta find her a guy that is a sweetie pie just like her. Yeah, Trevor Wallace. Yeah, she yeah she she likes c comedians, mm -hmm. so that could work. Mm, I don't know, steer in the wrong direction. Mm. Seems comedians have a lot of problems. Hey, <laughs> I don't want to date a bad guy comedian. I do, I sure do. Oh god, he was not a bad guy though. <laughs> I wonder if he knows who. Nothing. What? Just leave it alone. I wonder if he knows too. Yeah, I know. When are we gonna see him? Mm. I'm talking about hopefully the holiday party again. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Grace's comedian crush was at our holiday party last year, and she accidentally dropped a sandwich on his foot. On his foot, uh -huh. yeah, something like that. Yeah, just um, really excited to meet him. It was us three talking in a triangle. Mm -hmm. Grace came over. And <laughs> what did you do? I um, I went. Oh my god, it's so nice to meet you. I'm Grace. He's like, yeah, I know. I follow you on Instagram. I was like, wait, fucking yeah, I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I, uh, someone came over with the, you know, something as they about do. A sandwich, yeah. The, and the and the sandwich guy comes over and I go, oh yes, please. Why don't <laughs> you're talking to your crush? Don't grab a sangi. Did she run away? Grab a hoagie. And I grabbed a hoagie and I lost my breath. Mm -hmm. And she walked away. Dropped the sandwich on his foot and I said, nice. Oh, yeah, I just walked away. She walked away and he looks at me and goes. Is she okay? <laughs> I go, oh, yeah, man. She just dropped her sandwich. <laughs> She's fine, man. She'll be right back. Never came back. No, I think I did, which uh, was worse. Uh, but it was like too late. I, I'm like, sorry about that. I got nervous. I'm just sitting there like, oh, she's coming back. And the funniest part about this all, she's like 200 feet away from us at the trash bin. Fully clear path we can see her. She's just pretending to do something in the trash can. I'm like, no, she's coming back. And he's just she, he's just looking at her like, mm, okay, is she? I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Turn around, G, turn around. And she just fucked oh, hey. oh, I didn't notice you guys there. That was weird, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was insane. I'm like, yeah, sorry about that. And then I think we both just said, mm, and mm -hmm. walked away. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, I, I think, think we, we just said bye. We just went, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. and walked mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. And then got another sandwich. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah, we did. Yeah. I think we did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully well, he's at this holiday party. And I was sober. Mm -hmm. That was the that was the big that was killer. The big kicker. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that'll do it. This yeah. time you'll be wasted. Yeah. Sure. We've only got a couple more days to get our wastedness. I in. know. Quick commercial break for Hello Fresh. Hello. Say hello to stress-free holiday season with the help of Hello Fresh. Get the grocery store and save time with easy, tasty recipes delivered to your door. Since the season for giving and gathering, and with Hello Fresh, it can be. 
the season of saving. Mm-hmm. Actually save some money this month with fresh recipes delivered cheaper than takeout. And with the pre-portioned ingredients, you'll never waste money on excess food. After a full day of work, there's still so much to do. So days it feels like eating a wholesome dinner is next to impossible, but the HelloFresh, you can turn Busy weeknights into memorable mealtimes with delicious practical options designed to save you time like the 15-minute meals. Wow, Jay. Mm-hmm. You can spend your time this month shopping for gifts and sipping cocoa. Oh. Not stuck in the checkout line, G. You can sign up for HelloFresh to get everything you need to whip up a fresh, tasty meal delivered to your door, Grace, your door, and you choose the recipes, you select a delivery date, and you can relax knowing dinner is on the way. You can make hosting this holiday a joy rather than a hassle with the help of HelloFresh Market. From crowd-pleasing charcuterie boards oh. to photo-worthy desserts, it's easy to add these party pleases to your weekly order, saving you what so much time and money Mm -hmm. listen Bree. what b sorry i can't cook i know but with hello fresh easy all the ingredients are there that's one thing about me man my mom came to visit Mm -hmm. i asked her to show me how to grocery shop because i literally can't do it Mm -hmm. i forgot everything she said Mm -hmm. so the fact that these ingredients are getting shipped right to the door Mm -hmm. makes it so much easier for g and you know what b you can do it too everyone can do it with Mm hellofresh so you can go to hellofresh.com slash plan free and use code plan free for free breakfast for life what one breakfast item per box while subscription is active that's free breakfast for life at hellofresh.com slash plan free with code plan free We've only got a couple more days to get our wastedness. In. I know it's it's coming up on me. It's creeping up on me oh, like a it's bad fine. rash. It's Grace. good. It's good. It's good for me. I'm I'm We're fucking... talking about dry January. I know <laughs> <laughs> it's creeping up on me like a bad rash. <laughs> I'm scared. That's gold. <laughs> I'm scared. Aren't you scared? Yeah, dude. We're gonna need baby powder for this rash. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I'm gonna be so itching. Oh god. Uh, well, actually, I don't know. I am looking week. forward wow. to it. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I have totally. I'm so hungover right now, actually. Oh, dude, yeah, I couldn't do it. I, I feel know. hungover. I'm just sleeping. Blind. I'm deaf. I want to be a ref. No, everything's going to be fine. Uh, dry January is going to be great because we're going to get so slim. Oh, my God. I'm going to be fucking. You're going you're gonna to say, oh, my God, is that who I think it is? <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay Lohan? No, no, no. It just, um, uh, a twig in, in the woods. Is that who I think it is? is it, oh, is that a twig in the woods? No, that's Grace. Oh, I turned around. Oh, there she is. Oh my God. You can blowing away, away in nothing. Wind. I don't want you to die on me. No, dude. I, you said you're going to eat up for the summer? Mm. <laughs> for the winter? Yeah. Well, I'm just always so freezing. Well, you know. Something can double meat on my Chipotle bro. You know what my mother decided? She's not going to be cold this winter. She said out loud, I'm not going to be cold this winter. So she chose not to and she's not. Okay. So How you could is she pop- defeating the cold? Mindset. It's oh, all the mindset. It is. Every time I'm freezing, because I'm freezing a lot, and everyone really likes the AC on, and I don't want to bother anyone, mm. so I'll shiver in the corner until my bones hurt, and I say in my head, it's a mindset, it's a mindset, it's a mindset. and then in my head, I picture being in a desert, mm-hmm. I say, sweat, sweat, you're sweating, yeah, you're, you're so sweating, hot. you're sweating, and I'll be shivering, and I'm like, oh, I'm so hot. <laughs> <laughs> you just look like a junkie. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm like, like oh, oh, everything's fine over here. Oh, that rash is creeping up. <laughs> oh is it hot in here, or is it just me? I'm freezing. It is a mindset, though. Your mom's right. Or yeah. she's just turning the heat on and paying the bills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's probably what she meant. She's going to turn the heat on full blast this year. My cousins haven't had heat in three weeks, Grace. Oh, let's get my dad over there. Uh, fix that up for Oh, him. I know, man. Yeah. They just keep buying boats instead. Boats? <laughs> yeah. Uh, boats and hose. Yeah, boats and hose. You know, you know, live fast, die young. Exactly. Live fast, die young. Live fast, die young. Whatever happened to her? Uh, MIA? Yeah. She's MIA. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I'm like curious though. Yeah. Is that her only song? Um, no, she's got one with Madonna. Sing it. Um, it's a murder on the dance floor. Fuck. No. She's got she's got bangers. She's got bangers, dude. I'm thinking about her a lot lately. All right, well, let me see where she is. She would have been great on that soundtrack in that movie. Uh, Murder on the Death, Saltburn. Uh, last thing I looked up was Taco Bell. Oh, last, I live right next to it. Last thing I looked up was how long is Saltburn? Because I was trying to keep my eyes open. <laughs> I was standing as long as like, I actually stood up and stretched it during it. So I was like, I'm bored. Somebody probably thought you were just hi- trying to hide your boner. I know. I I'm just like, slept. Ah! I had to keep going. I, it looked like me and Zach were doing funky business because he was oh. snoring so loud. And I was like, dude, it's a quiet scene. And I was shaking him and he doesn't wake up. He's like, you? And it looked like we would probably be in perverts. Oh, yeah. I was like, get off. Oh, you look like you're giving a jack yeah, off. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. And he's sleeping and through the was, whole thing. It was creepy. Oh, you check him off when he's sleeping. It was, it was creepy because it was the scene where he was having sex with the dead thing, and I was like, 
he's got to see this. So oh. I was like, wake up. And he, it was weird. You pervert. Oh, now I'm looking back. I'm, 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 I'm you pervert out, man. Yeah, I guess I was. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's a headline. It was crazy for someone to wake up and try to explain those scenes. So listen. All right, so, uh, there was coming to train, and there was a dead body, and there was a <laughs> yeah, it was You gross. totally missed the best part. <laughs> You're like, well. All right, let's see where MIA is. Yeah. MIA. Ah, oh, just comes up Mia. Is it Mia Pia? No, no uh, that's dude, Tiger. No, <laughs> <laughs> Miami Dolphins. M I A M I Tiger and Paper Plants. Paper Plants. Um. Okay. So the questions are: What is M I A known for? When did M I A come out? What is the meaning of the name I'm M I A artist? When did M I A leave Sri Lanka? I'm not sure about what she's up to. Let's check her Instagram. She probably left, she left Sri Lanka. She definitely did, but we just don't know when. <laughs> oh, God, dude, but she's still Three hours ago, money. she was just glitching. Wait. Glitching. Wow. For a real one. Oh, she's three hours ago, she's popping? Yeah. How many followers does she have on Instagram? Let's go. 1.1. 1. 1. Okay. So, so she's got it going on. Yeah. So she's good. I'm excited and about her life. Let me just get her discography real quick, because you're going to recognize one of these songs. Okay. I know it. I just know it. M-I-A. Thank you so much. And just give me one second. I'm waiting. Paper planes, bad girls. How does bad girls go? Live fast, young bad, bad girls, girls do it. Well. See, I thought that was paper planes. And I then fly goes, like paper, get high like planes. You can catch me in the corner, your visas by my name. If you come around here, yeah, I'll make them all day. Play. I get one done yeah, in the second if you wait. I think that song is in Slumdog Millionaire, if I reckon. I think you reckon correct. Mm. Um, and then... That's all she needs, dude. How many streams do those have? Is she still banking in the coin? Give me all your love in Madonna, Nicki Minaj, and MIA. And Banger. that was the Super Bowl that my dad went to. And he was super no bumming. No way. He was super bumming because that was the halftime show. He said, really, Madonna? <laughs> Madonna and MIA and Nicki Minaj? I go, you live in my dream. Yeah. You live in my dream. Madonna's sick. Pat's lost that year. Madonna's sick. She's sick? Mm. Like sick nasty? No, like she's really sick. Is she okay? I don't know. I've seen a lot of bad stuff about it. So prayers up for Madonna. Madonna's always ready to party. I know. Maybe that's what got her. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put that on record. Um, speaking of iconic Girl, women, what I was standing next to Countess Luann last night. Oh my god! Um, Can you I was, tell me everything about it. I was waiting my turn, so I went to um, the Real Housewives are having a um, ultimate vacation with the New York ladies from mm -hmm. way back when, mm -hmm. the best ones, <sighs> Kelly Benson. Insane, <laughs> just just insane. She's just insane. I don't know. Just I just kind of stood there and just watched these women. When I picture her walk around running, her feet like I picture her like on a hoverboard, but there's no hoverboard, and she's just going and she's floating through, yes. like how we felt at Rolling Loud when we did that ecstasy yeah. from the guy on Instagram. <laughs> and we were like, oh my god, we're just on hoverboards right now, but our feet were moving and they didn't feel like they were. That's, that's how it. she moves. That's her. Mm -hmm. And I can never unsee her because that's what when we first moved to New York, we were, it was COVID time. Uh -huh. And we just watched The Real Housewives of New York and just kept saying, these women are the best. <laughs> like, they are the funnest people to oh watch. Oh, my God. Luann. So, um, all I can picture is Kelly Benson running through traffic. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's how I picture her. And she was just running through that, that ball. They basically just did, like, a high and by. But Countess, she stayed. She stayed and chatted. And <sighs> at the very end, right before she was about to leave, that's when I was going to go tap her on the shoulder and say, hi, sweetie. Mm -hmm. But that's when she called it quits. Wait, I thought you said you, she's coming on the podcast. I talked to her publicist. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you did something. Oh, yeah. fuck, you didn't get to talk to her, though? No. Oh. But we have... I wonder if she would talk to you like this, darling. Oh, my God, of course she oh would. Oh, my God, darling. And do you know she moves her shoulders like this, uh, Yes, darling? of course. Oh, my God, was she I mean, moving like that? come on, you silly little podcast. Was she moving like that? <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. What was she wearing? And she's, she's talking like this. Red? Oh, the ladies were dressed in their sparkly gowns. Were there like a, was there like a section like, don't no. touch me? So, no, it was kind of a crazy setup. So it was like this like um, open ballroom kind of deal and the grand stairs and they came up the grand stairs and they were just like, hello, we're and here. Everyone like waited for them to come yeah. down. Oh my and God. It was like a wedding. It felt like a wedding. Did you clap for them? Uh, yeah, I think people oh did. God. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. It was just the girls and the gays. Oh my God. And I'm hanging out with, um, oh, Zachariah. Love him. And. Oh, his boyfriend's name, I forget it. It's okay, we'll find out. So anyways, it's the girls and the gays mm -hmm. at, the, at at basically BravoCon. And um, I'm hanging out with Zachariah and his his boyfriend, uh, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Having a blast. We we were really um, giggle fest. I thought I had met Zach before. Mm -hmm. Nope. 
No. Nope. He was one of my first guests on my on this podcast. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a um, Massachusetts guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we were we were chatting it up, having having a lot of laughs, and then I went and hung out with Josh after the fact, mm-hmm. and I noticed that I still had my my Bravo girls and gays attitude going on, uh-huh. and I, I sat down and I was like doing I was like doing all this. And I was being like a sassy little gay boy. Oh my god! I was being so sassy. I love that. And I go, oh my god, sorry, I brought my Bravo, Bravo Con energy to this dive bar. That's my apologies. <laughs> That's okay. Did they like it? Um, they said, yeah, no, you just you were acting different. <laughs> oh wow! So yeah, I guess I'm a shapeshifter. That's fun, but mm. it was good. It was good. Yeah, no, it was and great. Lance coming on the pod. Yeah, and yes, we are locked in. Okay, mm-hmm. I cannot wait for the countess. We were so obsessed with that, those housewives. Oh my god! Remember, I saw a lady on the street, and I said, Ramona. Ramona <laughs> and she said, what, do I have crazy eyes? Do I have crazy eyes? It oh, was yeah. not Ramona. No. I ruined her day. Mm. And I thought my day was about to be made. Mm. I still think about it. But look in her Ramona eyes. Ramona was there. Oh. She had crazy eyes. She had crazy eyes. I wonder if she's always had crazy eyes or it's the Botox. Mm, some people born with it. That's not Maybelline. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Well, I love her. I love I love all of them Me so too. very dearly. Individually, the best characters in all of the world. And they're <sighs> real people. They're real people. They're not characters. They're real. Oh, my God. And they, one thing about them, like the Bravo celebrities, mm-hmm. they will chat. They love their fans. What's a Bravo celebrity? Oh, a celebrity, celebrity through Bravo? Bravo, yeah. Do you, is everyone called them that? That's what everyone was calling them last night. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you learned a lot of new gay lingo. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. I like that. Yeah. Any other lingo? Um, twat. Oh. Who do they call that? The servers. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's none of that's true. Oh god, were they nice? <laughs> they were nice. No, I was I was actually best friends with the, the people going around with the things because mm-hmm. you know I think that's how I broke my sandwich in the first place was was not being in cahoots with the, with those guys because the catering guys those are my guys. Yeah, they're the best. You get in cahoots with them, mm-hmm. they're gonna feed you. Oh my god, I know. And they're, <laughs> gonna they're gonna come back. And, and, come and back. I was I was handed out Venmo to everyone. They're like, oh my god, not even the countess did this. I'm like, I got you because. <laughs> <laughs> well, and no one eats at those events. Nothing. I've noticed every time we go to them, we're the only people eating them. Yeah. And the food's so delicious. I know. I went to something the other day and, and I was, uh, again, in the cahoots with the guy. I think I already said this on this podcast, but I'm talking to the guy and I'm like, they're not eating anything. He's like, I know. <laughs> I'm like, we'll get anyone else. What are you sorry? Uh, Just share it with me. Expensive <laughs> catering. It's insane. These silly goose. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. She had a blast. I had a blast. It was a good time. Oh, oh my gosh, Countess. I can't wait till she's sitting right next to us. I know. I haven't really seen. Did you see the video of her? Oh, I think you sent it to me. What? A video of her doing a cameo um, sitting behind oh my God, yeah. the TSA booth, mm-hmm. or not TSA, behind the Delta booth mm-hmm. at the waiting gate at an airport, sitting on the thing where the um, flight attendants sit. Mm-hmm. And they come back and go, ma'am, you have to leave here. And she goes, oh my God, they're kicking me out. This is crazy. Anyways, happy birthday, Cynthia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, she's the best. Oh, I want to live in a world of that. Like, you're in your own world. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so sick. Oh, it's a lovely delusion. Oh, it really, truly is. It's a beautiful <sighs> delusion. She just walks around, really, she is the countess. She is who she is. I love her to death. I love her. Anything memorable happen? Um, No. 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 Just fun little memories. Just like cute little cutesy. Oh, cute. Yeah. Anything fun happen with Josh? Um... Right when I got there, this is when I was being a little gay. Mm-hmm. Um, right when I got there, I sat everyone down and I got three words to describe yourself. <laughs> oh, God. Because I didn't know um, two of the people we were with. Oh, there was more than one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was the, the, the uh, their crew. And uh, I was like, oh, what's your name? And it was like, he told me his name. And um, I'm like, oh, like, where are you from? And it's just the, the conversation wasn't um, fully flowing. It wasn't hitting as hard yeah, as Yeah, so I, I go, all right, well, I'd like to get to know you. Three facts about yourself. Mm-hmm. Three adjectives about yourself. Mm-hmm. Quick. And he's like, mm-mm. Oh. And I said, okay. Um, Josh, and Josh hit it with sexy first. I was literally just going to say sexy, sexy, sexy. Guess the second one. Um, hilarious. Intelligent and then hilarious. Oh, uh, okay. I said, mm, narcissist, narcissist, narcissist. <laughs> <Did> <laughs> and that's when I was being a sassy guy. <laughs> what were your three? Um, delusional. Mm-hmm. Funny. Mm-hmm. Um, stupid, I guess. I Aww. can't think of it. I can't think of it. Don't say that. No. Um, gorgeous? No. Talk about my charisma. Um, charismatic? <laughs> <laughs> you said charismatic then. Charismatic. Uh-huh. Yeah. Cool. What are your three? F- 
freezing. Mm. Um, That's the way you feel. <laughs> That's not how you are. Oh, how are you freezing? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of the times I'm freezing, exhausted, mm-hmm. and happy. You're usually freezing well, yeah, and exhausted freezing don't exhausted go with happy. happy. <laughs> no, but I'm always freezing and exhausted, so you have to be happy during one of those days. Uh, I guess so. Mm-hmm. And it, that's me. And your That's the three you want to stick with? Forever. Mm-hmm. Bah humbug. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. That's what I am. What's in your cup? Uh, honey. <laughs> Can <laughs> okay, I say that? Wait, there was a crazy time in our lives where we would go through the McDonald's drive through mm-hmm. and we would bring a bottle of Henny because our friend worked at McDonald's mm-hmm. and we'd pass him the bottle of Henny oh, yeah. through the McDonald's drive through window mm-hmm. and let him take a couple shots during a shift. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I think we smoked a few blizzies with him a few times too. I think we did too. Yeah. yeah. And then we would take our McDonald's mm-hmm. then we'd go to the park in my neighborhood in the middle of the night, 12, mm-hmm. no lights, pitch black, sit mm-hmm. at a picnic table, mm-hmm. pitch black, no lights, mm-hmm. and eat our Big Macs. <laughs> because God forbid we wake our parents up to have our little midnight snack. I know, God forbid. <laughs> it was a really crazy thing we did, and then we'd go home and be covered in bug bites. Speaking of midnight snack, and this is the second time Tubby's going to talk about McDonald's on the pod. Okay. <laughs> Your snack wrap's come back. <laughs> I know, 2025, way too long of a wait, Jake. Okay, here's the thing. <clears throat> you know how you were looking up the other day? Or last night even, uh, how, old, how old you are? Yeah. Okay. So the other night you posted the whole snack wrap thing, uh-huh. and I was like twenty twenty five. That's gotta be. That's gotta be like the next. That's the year that we're coming into. It's gotta be because yeah. that's way too long to wait. Yeah. So I had something? to Google what year is it. Oh god. I didn't know what because it's not on your phone. By so the we're way, we're on the same page. It's just not on your phone. It's Wednesday, December thirteenth at three forty two. Okay. I wonder if you could change that. What's the year? 2025 <laughs> is when the snack wrap's coming back. I mean, dude, I feel like I have literal onset dementia. Do you know everything we're going to go through by the time 2025 happens? Are we even going to care about the snack wrap anymore? <laughs> Seriously. Flip <laughs> <What>? that. <laughs> why, are they, why would they announce it so far out, Grace? That was fucking perfect. Why would they announce it so far out? Like, you can't do that. That's like when people tease their album and then it drops six years later. It's like, we forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Drake. I know, that's a bad PR move on Mickey Doos. For real, you should do it three weeks before people get lined up in tents outside of McDonald's. Or do it the drizzy way. Don't tell day nobody. Of, we're back, bitches. I love it. I need a day in advance so I can be there. I want to be at the point where I don't have to promo anything. So baller. So baller. You just drop it and people eat it up. I know. I want to be drizzy Drake. You don't even need to post a fucking link. <sighs> people go find the link and they post the link. That's October's very own. Oh, my God. Drizzy Drake, did you see the videos and pictures he posted the other day? He was crazy, Grace. <laughs> what do you mean, B? I was funny. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were. No, it was funny. I was scrolling and I go, I accidentally called him. I don't know who I was you talking called Drake? to. Drake? No, I wish. I did Actually, FaceTime him in Turks and Caicos, though. I know. Um, that was crazy. And I was hiding in the back at nacho cheese all over my face. I said, Jersey, I don't want to be on the camera. <laughs> shit. Oh, uh, fuck. He had no idea who the fuck I was. No shit. He's dating a new baddie. From Turks and Caicos. No shit. No, it was Ark, the bar. People just go to Turks and Caicos at this bar now in willing hopes Seriously, to see Drake. what the Drake. fuck did you just say? That doesn't make any sense. I told you. I started scrolling again. <laughs> it's a real. Brianna. I know. On Instagram. MIA love Sri Lanka. What are you talking She's about? She's glitching. Wait. What are you talking about? Where am I going with you this? You literally said, <laughs> Drake has a new baddie. Oh my God, Turks and Caicos. Oh my God, Noah's Ark. Oh my God, this bar. Everybody goes to the bar. Not Noah's what are you Ark, talking like about? Church. What? What? Ugh, I just explained everything I was talking about. I don't know how it could be more clear. Drake has a new baddie okay. from Turks and Caicos at the bar Noah's Ark. At the bar Noah's Ark. Yes. I don't know what that means. It's the. It's just the name of the bar. That's the only <laughs> place he sees his baddie is at the bar Noah's Ark? She works at Noah's Ark, the bar. You forgot that part. I literally said the baddie from Turks and Caicos works at the bar Noah's Ark. Literally. I, I, how can I be more clear? You're speaking rich. I got nothing. I don't know what the people fuck that go means. to this bar now. People book all inclusive vacations to Turks and Caicos now to go to this bar just in hopes of seeing him. Jersey, how crazy could you? Oh be? wait, hold on. I did see a video where a guy's doing flips just to get Drizzy's attention at some seaside bar. Now you want to believe me? No, I just didn't understand where this baddie stood and where she's coming from. Her name's Fla Flakishia or something. F L A C C I A. Flashia. I'm not gonna try. Well, I tried because I care about this relationship. It's kind of adorable. Oh, my God. They've been posting pictures together since 2022. No shit. Something like that, G. I saw one video about this. I got it all. And I checked out her Instagram. Mm. You want to see her? Yeah. She's kind of a baddie. Mm. For real. Well, yeah. Anyways, what I was going with is I was talking about Drake, but I 
I was calling him Champagne Poppy for some reason because that's his Instagram name. Yeah. And I was calling him Champagne Poppy. And whoever I was ta- talking about it, because I kept saying Champagne Poppy instead of Drake, go, you mean Drake? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah fuck. Champagne I Poppy. <laughs> Champagne Poppy. That is sick. He has so many nicknames. I know. Oh, Flaca is her name. Here, this is her. Look, she posted this. This is Drake oh, picture. Adorable. She said cutie pie. And then <laughs> them. When did you get fucking speed? Um, I'm literally you the fastest speeding. girl in Manhattan. That's her smoking hookah. Oh, baddie. She a baddie. She knows she a 10. This is her working at the bar. Oh, she got it going on. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. She's gorgeous, Grace. That's her. That's the bar. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Uh-huh. Uh, poor, apparently Drake, uh, I'm sorry, Champagne Poppy wasn't, oh, another picture of them, wasn't there when I went. Oh. So it's pretty sad. So it's, Okay, so when he's not dropping albums. He's at this bar. He's dropping sake bombs into uh, um, uh, shots and taking mad of them on jet skis. Shit. He's sick. Wow. He really is sick. I would like to also agree with you that <laughs> I would love to be at a point where you can just drop shit like Drizzy Dre. Yeah. And no one cares. Sorry, Champagne Puppy. Fantastic. Mm. There's Everyone's at that level, I guess. Yeah. If, it just depends if you care. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm saying like all the, um, all the people, we've all, like all the singers, they just drop shit and you don't even need to promo it. I'm thinking all Miley Cyrus. I'm thinking Lady Gaga. I'm thinking Drake. Not all I'm thinking of them. SZA. Well, like small ones. Obviously. Even even Miley, even Miley gave a little snippet before it came out. <sighs> yeah, but she didn't need to. She didn't need to. Number one stream song. Is that true? Flowers. Wow. I could buy there was a time. Flowers. Remember, there was a time where my mother, um, she couldn't believe when Flowers and um, Kill Bill, Kill Bill came on. I think I already said that back to back. Yeah, yeah, we talk about that a lot pers- in our personal relationship. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> behind closed doors, we're talking about that. We're talking about that a lot. <laughs> what else do we talk about behind closed doors? Uh, things that we can't say on the podcast. Yeah, sorry guys. Oh, uh, I wish we could. Mm. But you guys are mad all the time. <laughs> when I do stand up, you could see me say stuff like that. Uh, what would I, you say when I jump back into that? We'll bleep it. What would you say? <laughs> Oh my god, I can't wait for that to happen. <laughs> is that OxyShed? Yeah, it's actually fire. All right, guys, Planbury Uncut is sponsored by BetterHelp. So whether or not your family gives gifts during the holidays, you get to define how you gift to yourself. And the holidays are a great time to do that. So whether it's by starting therapy, going easier on yourself during the tough moments, or treating yourself to a day of complete rest, remember to give yourself some love this holiday season. Uh, I think everyone can benefit from therapy, especially... It's getting darker. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's like seasonal depression is coming around. Everyone's around their family, which is super stressful. It can be isolated. It opens a lot of trauma. It opens mm-hmm. a lot of doors. Better help is a way to do it, to take care of your brain, to take care of yourself, G. Talk it out. Mm-hmm. Talk it out. It's mm-hmm. always better to talk it out, especially with a professional that can yeah. help. You want to tell me a little bit about Better Help? Better Help. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Wow, G. Mm-hmm. That's amazing, dude. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with Better Help. You can visit betterhelp.com slash planbreed today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H E L P.com slash planbreed. Make sure to take care of yourself, take care of your brain, give back to yourself this holiday season. So we talked about Amanda Bynes last week, mm-hmm. or last episode. Um, I saw something, and I don't... Wow, last episode was this week. I know, it was literally so crazy. It, it like literally came, came out today, today or yesterday yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's so nuts. Well, anyways, Amanda Bynes, she has this co-host on her podcast who's claiming to be a scientist, and apparently he's not a scientist. That's so sick. Sounds a lot like somebody I know. Oh, no. <laughs> That's why I said it's so sick. But misinformation, not good for people, especially oh. when you're fully believing it. I okay. just mean it in the sense of, like, I'm a scientist. I know, but wait a second. Yeah. What are they talking about on this podcast? I We're going to have to get the rights to this video because I have to show you this. Okay. okay. I want to thank everyone who watched the first episode of you the podcast. You think I haven't seen this? Listen, we need to get oh, this out there. Okay. The guy that Amanda has made this podcast with is not a scientist. He's claiming to her that he's a scientist. He is my old roommate. He is a sociopath. Oh, my God. There's a crazy shock well, you value. You not just stop it Hold right on. There. Hold on. <laughs> There's a crazy shock value thing I think I need to warn you about. Okay. Just get ready. <laughs> Fuck. Where did she go? <laughs> okay. I want to thank everyone who watched the first episode of the podcast. Listen, we need to get this out there. The guy that Amanda has made this podcast with is not a scientist. He's claiming to her that he's a scientist. He is my old roommate. He is a sociopath. He had lied to me, said he was a scientist for like over seven years. <laughs> so you. We were friends. I would be his cat. Sitter I wouldn't do this. When he would go out of town for over seven years. Um, and then one day we moved in together. I went out of town and he sacrificed my dog's life. unalived him. <laughs> to a blood moon or something 
and then deleted all the footage and then lied about it for months and months and months. I hate to laugh. It's just so um, insane. And, like, literally went outside for a cigarette and left the moment that I got into the security footage because he knew there was videos of him doing it on there. This is a dog that he bought. <sighs> he stole my money. I didn't know that at the time, but, yeah. He bought this dog and literally left her. Okay? Literally left her. What? Yeah. That is not like you. What? I said that's so you in the beginning. Not. What? So it's the shock. Abort mission. I just absolutely had no idea that was coming. Wow. It's just, I I hate to laugh, but it it is just so crazy. And in times like that, I'm going to laugh because it's so insane. How the fuck do you chill with someone like this, man? I mean, there's got to be signs that one day he might sacrifice your dog. I mean, not, I mean. I don't know. Sometimes you don't see it coming. I don't know. Oh, my God. I was talking about Amanda, but yeah. Oh. If you're, <laughs> if you're living with this guy, you got to know something. No, it's not her fault. Not her Obviously fault. Obviously not. Not her but fault. But, like, dude, what the fuck? The second you leave your dog's dead, sacrifice? A sacrifice to the, fuck, to the blood gods? Blood moon. Ugh, that's insane. That's insane. And there's video footage. Oh my oh, god, the things I would. So disturbing. Oh my god, I that person would not be able to claim they were scientists. They'd be claiming death. Mm-hmm. I would kill them. Mm-hmm. I would live stream it too. Yeah. Fuck you. You killed my dog. You're live streaming your murder, and I'm putting it on World Star Hip Hop. And you guess what? You're not going to jail. No, I'm not going to jail. Side. Everyone's on my side. Even the judge. You're crazy. Why'd you do that? Oh yeah. my god. And now you're a scientist. On Amanda Bynes' podcast. That's a Mad Lib. That's where I'm trying to head. Uh-huh. What are they talking about where he has to claim scientists? I have to know. We have to. Is it a buy-in? The podcast? Oh, it's like, got to be behind a paywall. I feel like we have to watch it like, it's, right now. I, uh, I know. It's got to be a It's got to be a pay-in. A paywall. I'll pay. I'll pay, too. Should oh. we, though? We're supporting a fucking murderer. I, uh, I just need to know. Oh, I'm not buying it. Fuck that guy. I'm now like, he's going to buy a million more dogs and kill them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Really okay. crazy stuff. Well, we, we need to get in contact with Amanda Bynes. Mm-hmm. And we need to sit her down mm-hmm. and say, we have a third mic. Mm-hmm. Come here. You got to get away from that guy. Mm-hmm. If she's hanging out with him with this information out there, she's probably doing the same thing. Unfortunately, that's how things happen. When I don't think she knows. I don't dogs. think she knows. This just came out. That had 5,000 likes when I saw it. It's got 50K now. That was this morning. Did you DM it to Amanda? I will. Promise? Yeah, I'll do it right now. Okay, thank you. Did you have you been? You just seeing, gotta let her know. Have you been seeing her TikToks? Um, not, not, no. She's she's not coming she's up making, for me. She's making TikToks, um, talking about like lighting and like she's thirty seven and she's talking about how she looks so terrible and old and pictures because paparazzi lighting and then she goes on for like um three minutes trying to explain light and like how pictures work mm. and it's just like very obvious things she's saying and it's a really tough watch. Well, I wonder who told her that. The scientist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, we've got to get to the bottom of this guy. She doesn't Can have we an Instagram. Spy on him? She doesn't have an Instagram. It's not. Oh. Oh, and her TikTok is not her name. Oh, that video that you just watched was stitched from her TikTok. Oh, okay. Good idea. Mm-hmm. How many followers did she rack up? Because when I saw her, she had like 200 followers. And I was seeing her videos being posted in real time. They had 100 likes when I saw them. 200K. Um, her Instagram is Amanda, 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 1886. That's legit. <laughs> 1886. 19, I was just going to ask if she was born in that year. 1986. Ugh. The the one who looks like Jesus. Oh my god. Hmm. Yeah, you okay, you look at this guy. Obvi- oh. Wow. <laughs> I think I just pulled my groin. Do you see how I'm sitting? <laughs> okay. <laughs> By the looks of this guy, I was going to say you wouldn't think he's murdering dogs, but I he's would. got cult I can see energy. It in his fucking eyes. He's where? Okay, he's a cult. He is Jesus. Mm-hmm. He looks like he looks like he just started a cult. Oh my god, he's wearing a cl- he's wearing a cloth, mm-hmm. a cloth dress, and he's doing this. If anyone, if I ever do this in a picture, I'm killing dogs. Try it. Let me see how scary it looks. Okay, listen, I've done that many yeah, times. Yeah, when we were 16. Okay, still might do it from here to here. This. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go like this probably. We got we have a well, friend. <laughs> We have a friend who does that all the time. Okay, well, you're murdering dogs. Stop doing that. I don't think I he can't... does that. Who? Mac. It's his only, it's his only yeah, fucking he does pose. This. He does this. That's oh, legendary. I saw if a you picture... have a murder killer face while you do this, this is, a, this is a razor in your hand, pretty much is what you're saying. And then you turn around and you're saying, ah, <laughs> v- 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 ah this guy, man. Mermaid Ferrari is his Instagram name. Oh. Those are two things that usually don't go together. Ugh. Mermaids and Ferraris. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I can't read. It's Mermaid Fairy. Oh. But he spelled it pretty crazy. Fairy. <sighs> I guess, but are we just believing everything that we see on the internet? Yes. That's what I do. Me too. I also don't watch the news. You know, to each their own. Tito. No, not to each their own when they murder dogs. Oh, that's true. I always mm-hmm. forget that part. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever you want until you can murder dogs. Yeah, no sacrificing the doggies, all right? Oh, God, you got to be in prison. That means he's probably going to sacrifice someone next. Yeah, it starts with animals. So, so like sorry to bring that up. Yeah, wow, that got me all razzled. Drop that bomb. Mm-hmm. 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 I think in every holiday photo, I'm going to try my best starting now to sneak a middle finger in. I'm going to start doing this. Ugh, disgusting. Way to ruin the family <laughs> photo, right? Dude, you, your freaking mother's going to be so upset when she sees that. I know, dude. Way to ruin it. <laughs> Try it. Mm. Remember? Remember? I went or- to her face. Oh. <laughs> it's so foul. It's foul. I never say that foul word. Ball! <laughs> foul ball! Foul <laughs> ball! Ah, wait, say it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no, when you do that, someone has to say foul ball. Oh. Okay, that's a new thing that we could do with no context in people that we around people that we don't know. Say we're at the mall, mm-hmm. and you're like, at, um, at, "Oh, let's go into the mall in New York." <laughs> <laughs> okay, I say, gotta get to Deb. I gotta get a sparkly dress for the holiday party. Sure, there is, sure there is. <laughs> foul ball, <laughs> foul ball. See, we do I have that. a crazy tongue because I was biting it all last night. Oh, gross. We'll walk. <laughs> we'll be walking down the hallway, and then you'll just give me a, uh, and then I'll scream foul ball, and okay. then I'll do opposite, and we just do it wherever, and then we walk separate ways. I'm all in. We should try it's this kind of D. Oh he would god. love that. Oh my god. <laughs> no, man. he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> he hates bits. I watched Dumb Money. Literally just to watch DP in it, and the movie is gangster. Gangster. Yeah, it's a gangster movie. It made me feel like I could free a common man and make millions of dollars. Do you remember when all this was happening, and I was so in on it? Yes. I was so in on it. And exactly how you felt after watching that movie, I'm like, I'm getting in on the next run. Yeah. And so I got into Doge. Yeah. And did. I was all in. I was like, all those people. Wait. I was like, I didn't know what to buy. I didn't know what to sell. Were you? Know. Did you buy GameStop stock? No. Oh. No, I had just found out about it. Ugh. So then I got into stocks, and now I couldn't even tell you what, how to do that. Well, now, yeah, thank God we have War Jordan Belfort on our podcast. Oh, yeah, I've been reading that book. Day in and day out. It's a page turner. <laughs> it sure is. One page after the other. That's called a page turner. Yeah. And I'm not knowing anything about stocks, but I thought you bought GameStop stocks. So I'm out no. here telling everyone you're dodge. rich. Fuck. That one plummeted? Uh, Can't do it twice, I don't think. I don't, I don't know. I don't stay up to date on current affairs. Anymore. True. Back in the day, it was all I was doing. It was boring time. Boring, boring times. I'm like, what is new? What is going on? Yeah. Now I just like, you know, I live in this little bubble. Yeah. You know? You okay? But um, uh, don't call me bubble boy. Call me Chuckles. I don't mind it anymore. (laughs) (laughs) I knew she'd come around. (laughs) No, I don't want to be Chuckles. Somebody said it's too close to Chucky. And they're right. But you're not Chucky. Listen, I got the red hair. Mook is starting a movement, I've noticed, about, about talking redheads? about redheads. Yeah, and I, I just want to get in on that. Um, so there was a list that drops of uh, Mook most famous. is fam- an employee at Barstool Sports. He's also a hilarious a comedian. He is so funny. We actually wanted him to open up for one of our uh, shows, maybe next tour. Mm-hmm. Because he cracks it up. Yeah, he cracks my ass up. So listen, Mook- Mookie Boy. Mookie Boy uh, saw this list of the most famous gingers there ever were. First of all, slur. Second of all, they were cartoons before there was actual people. No shit. Yeah. Who was the number one? I can't I can't recall. Can I, I look this list up? Yeah, go for it. Okay. I actually am super curious. I can't think of one famous redhead. We can put Mook's TikTok. Like an actual I th- I know like people with red hair, but they're it's not real red hair. Do Mook's TikTok because he's got the number one on there. Uh, but I'll just look up the list so that we can read it all. I don't want to steal his bit. No, you're not. This is all this is all for Mook. All for Mook. <laughs> this is all for Mook. Ten top ten most famous redheads of all time ranked. Ten, Chuck Norris. I know him. It's pretty sick. Nine, Adele. No, this isn't the list. There okay. was like a lot of people on the list. Okay. Conan Conan O'Brien. Mm-hmm. Uh Brendan Gleason. No sure. Um, Emma Stone. Yeah, this isn't the list. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to see. Oh, this one, Rupert Grint. He is uh, the guy from Ron Weasley. Okay, that yep. should just That's be his, his name, name on his birth certificate. Queen uh, Elizabeth the <laughs> first. Okay, this is not the list. Uh, Don Don Hogley. Oh, dude, you love him? Who is that? Oh, you would love the movies in All About Time. 
Cry your eyes out. You gotta watch it tonight. It's a rom-com. Nobody knows who you're talking about. They can't see or hear what you're talking about. We'll put pictures in. Ed Sheeran, obviously. Yeah, this is not the list. I know, but these this is the right list. Yes. Um, Prince Harry. Yeah. Mm. Lindsay Lohan forgot. Grace O'Malley forgot. Mook forgot. Oh, fuck. We're all forgotten about. And then there was this other clip. So he's been talking about the ginger thing for a long time. Yeah. How is Lindsay Lohan not on that list? I don't understand it. And that was a real list. I don't understand it. That's crazy. So anyways. I'm just all fired up, you know? Mm-hmm. Talking about Peter Ginger is like insane. Um, but I will say, uh, there was another clip where they put three gingers in a room at the Chicago office. Mm-hmm. And they said... Um, they have well, three people ginger hair working there? Yeah. Wow. So Mook, Mook said, the day, the day everything changed from being silly... You know, red hair and freckles to being a ginger that people step on was South Park. And all three of the redheads just shook their head and they're like, yeah, man. Wow. As soon as that episode came out, it was, it was over for us. Wow. And it's so funny. Is it true? It, yeah, they were like genuinely like all shaking their heads like, damn. No, I'm asking you, is it true? Oh, yeah, dude. Fuck. Fucking gingers don't have souls. Fuck you, dude. That kid ruined us. Fuck. That kid ruined us. That kid just was like a, a loser. So we all got seen as a loser. That's not fair because you're a rarity. Mm-hmm. And people should see you as a shining a stone. Like a lucky rabbit's foot. Yeah, it's like, oh, you see a redhead? Never really see those all day long. Yeah. like red, red Wow, hair. redhead, shocking. That That's a gem in the, in the rough, a diamond in the rough. Red hair, blue eyes, freckles, dude. That's when, like, I, I would have understood it more if people started kidnapping us more. That's sick. That would be like, because we are a walking... Rarity. Rarity. Yeah, I would pay to have one of you guys locked up in a cage. <laughs> See, that's... <laughs> that's when it goes back to... Uh, she's like not really looking at, at us as people, though. No, you're, ge- you're a gem. You're my prize. What kind of gem? A uh, red one. Should have said a ruby. ruby. <laughs> You're a ruby. Awesome, baby. She's right yeah. on the same page. I want to cut you up and put you into a diamond. That's mm-hmm. how rare you are. So that's how people should look at you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But no one does. They look at you as the ginger to kick. I take us for I granted. Think they're com- I think that people are coming around, though. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Why don't you ask the kids in middle school, see how they're doing? <sighs> Truly, though. Why don't they? Okay, so, so well, you are a ginger in power. Mm-hmm. If you say that, can I say that? A GIP. Okay. She's a GIP. Mm-hmm. You are a GIP in your... Setting an example for the younger kids. Why don't you go on a fucking movement across social media and have GIs, G-I-N-P, gingers in not power, G-N-I-P, gingers not in power, the younger ones, in school. Why don't you have them stand up for themselves? Well, it's hard. But that's why I'm saying start a movement. You, can, you can't you, just tell kids to stand up for themselves. Sometimes it's hard. But they you're look getting, up to you. You're getting kicked. You're, you're getting G- kicked in school. You're you can't G-I-P. stand up for yourself. That's what I'm saying. Start a movement. Change the world. What the Why do you want to be the face of that? Will you stop yelling at me? No, because you can. I believe in you. Fuck off, Brianna. I already have a plan. I'm talking to a publicist. What are you going to say? It's not ready yet. <sighs> it has you... to be strong. It has to be powerful. Why wouldn't you want to change the world? What the fuck did I just say? But you won't tell me your plan, even off camera in our private life. It's the first time this came up. I would like to see you do something good with your hair. Don't do it. It like, almost sounded like a, a dis compliment. A dis why don't you, <laughs> why don't you sit up when you're talking to me? Right? Do something good. It's in the works. It's in the works. Okay. Well, hopefully we see her face. Oh, you could be the new Greta Thunberg. I'm running for ginger office. Mm, they should have one of those. If they're not going to ever let a woman in office, can we just start our own office and take over the world? Yeah. Like Barbie? Like Barbie? Yeah, like Barbie. Right. Yeah. Why don't we start a revolution? All right. Why not? This took a turn. Let's I do know. it. Wow. It's the glasses. It really got me going. Yeah, try. Oh. They just scream feminist. I know. God. Yeah, I could take over the world. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. I'm following exactly okay. what you do. Yeah. Okay. So what are we going to do first? You need a pencil skirt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I loved pencil skirts so much in middle school. Didn't you feel like a little baddie when you put on your pencil skirt oh, yeah. in seventh grade? Oh, oh my God. Dead. Too tight. Too young oh, to be wearing God. such a tight, short piece of clothing. I am. And it they... was wrong. No shit. Our dads didn't want us to wear them to school. It was weird. Yeah. They were short. I had a principal that would wear fucking skimpy clothes at me and yell at me. I'm like, fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. Fucking Principal whore. always gets away with murder. I just call my sister's current principal a whore. Whatever. Oh, fuck her. <laughs> right? I don't give a fuck. I don't fucking care. I don't give you a tell shit. me your sister's current principal listens to this podcast. 
She's a huge fan. <laughs> uh, she hater. always was. She's a hater. She watching always was. She was always a huge fan of me, dude. Mm -hmm. Dude, one time I ordered pizza in detention. It was such a baller move that she gave me another detention. Because she just loved my work. You should have grabbed, you should have grabbed it and ate it. <laughs> she wanted to see what was next. When you get detention, do they write it on a slip and hand it to you? Yeah. Oh, that's baller. Yeah. Oh, it's such a power trip thing. Dude, I was doing so many detentions. I had to go before school and after school to go to prom. And didn't you have detentions because you were late? Mm -hmm. Crazy to get a detention for being late. Yeah. It's autonomy. Never really taught me a lesson. No. She kept being late. Just like I'll always late for school. I don't care about school. <sighs> work on time. On time have to be, or you're not getting that money. Shit, fuck, ah, fuck me up. Oh god, <laughs> <laughs> a little worried. If I'm worried about that. Why? Because <laughs> I'm a little worried. Okay, well, tell me something about yourself. Um, about the winter? No, I'm not freezing right now. Okay, good. I'm feeling good, and I'm actually really excited to shred gnar this weekend. Oh my god, I keep forgetting we're going skiing. I actually meant to say snowboarding. Mm -hmm. We're going snowboarding, and now Grace is on that. She changed her mind all of a sudden. Oh, she, she told me mind. yesterday or today. Well, you know. The ski pants just look so fun. Oh, so fun, dude. We're going to try. Oh, okay. So me and Grace, our, our big uh, idea of how to learn how to snowboard mm -hmm. is we have a road trip up to New Hampshire, mm -hmm. about five hours. We're just going to watch Strictly Shredding Gnar YouTube videos, yes. how to snowboard, mm -hmm. and we're going to figure out how to snowboard without even having a board on our feet by the time we get there. Another ginger. Sean, Sean White. White. Didn't get into piano bar last year that we went. Pretty weird. <laughs> that was strange. <laughs> was it him? Totally. Oh my god, that was crazy. It was crazy. That was insane. Uh, I wanted to give him knuckles. I'm drinking Mountain Dews, baby. Oh, I'm just gonna say that all weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was drinking Mountain Dews, baby. Oh, for a bit, we should strictly drink Mountain Dews and vodka. Oh, I am wearing my head in a beanie. There I am. Yeah, Sean I'm Mike. Sean White. Uh -huh. You can't even tell the fucking difference. No, dude, you gonna think dude. you can do a backflip on a board? I can do a backflip on a board. No, because oh I'm gonna my channel God. my inner ginge. Oh, we should make a sick montage video of us shredding our. <sighs> you know we're gonna be so nasty. You know that's gonna be a fucking hilarious. It's gonna be video. so funny. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Oh my God, I can't oh, wait. God. I saw one video today of like someone, uh, oh that guy that does all the tricks on TikTok, Gage Castro. You've definitely okay, seen he does the guy that chips. looks like Zac Efron. Yes, yes, yes. He's always doing flips and shit. I saw yeah. one video of him snowboarding today, and I go, that looks so easy. <laughs> it's got to be hard, right? I never <laughs> put it on the so feet. Hard, dude. Man. But didn't you, you picked snowboarding because you were like, dude, it just looks so it's easy. Just, it just, and you know what? It just feels cooler. Yeah. It just looks cooler. Oh, my God. It's you don't so have to have two fucking, what am I doing with two poles in my hand when I'm skiing? <laughs> you like an old feet. fucking <laughs> granny. Yeah. yeah. And it always reminds me of Bo Burnham. Oh am yeah. I, am I giving hand jobs or am I skiing? <laughs> am I skiing or am I in a gay porn? Yeah. <laughs> oh, whatever happened to Bo Burnham? He's still kicking. When did he leave Sri He's Lanka? Doing great. Oh, good. Cool. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna shred Nar this weekend. It's gonna be absolutely epic. I can't wait to probably have some crazy stories about that when we get back. I'm excited for that. Yeah, it's gonna I'm be a good time for that. Mm -hmm. Did you, you get your? Uh, did you get your? Um, did you get your secret Santa gift? Not yet, right? Me either. Well, yeah, not yet because the rules are insane. What are the rules? No gift cards and no gag gifts. Real gifts. So what am I gonna get? <sighs> Seriously? Weapons? I could get weapons. Right? I already bought your Uncle Tommy a tambourine because he had so much fun with it um, at the karaoke bar. I like that. So I'll just give that to him on the side. I won't tell anyone. Mm -hmm. Want me to tell you what I got all the boys? What do you got? What? Yeah. How epic. How epic is J-Mac's face going to be when he opens that? Shano's? Tommy's? You got it. Wow. Yeah. No, that's for Christmas. That's my family. Yeah. Holy shit, Brianna. Yeah, I'm excited. That is a fucking huge deal. Dude, because I told you I'm in my list. Yeah. I'm in my list. Those are the only things I got so far. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, that was tier one. People holy I love. Shit, yeah. List. Yeah. Wow. We're on that list too, but it's not the what same a win. thing. I wouldn't do that for you. No. So yeah, I'm super excited for Christmas time. Wow. Wow. Super fun. Holy shit. Me and you riding up to the mountain. We're going to the mountain and, and we're... we're Gonna fall down. Oh, I can't wait to. <laughs> We're not gonna fall down. We're gonna stand tall. Okay. Because you're a GIP, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be warm. Because it's a mindset. I'm probably gonna do half a day. I'm just. I'm not even doing it the second day where they're doing it. Oh uh, yeah. I think we should go tubing the second day. Oh yeah. In the first day, we'll board a little, but we'll get wasted. So it'll be. A, it will be a blast. Yeah, dude. It's gonna be. It's gonna be epic fun. It's gonna be epic fun. I am so scared. We have to get a flask. Last time was not good. for You'll have a helmet this time, and mm -hmm. you'll have real mittens, and you're not gonna get lost because we're gonna be hooked onto each other. That's a great point. Thank you for keeping me up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm excited for this. Anything I really else? am. Um, Don't cry. Want to see you could cry first on command? Yeah. Okay. I can't. I thought we were going to try. 
<laughs> We're supposed to be mad at Ben Affleck. You can't mess up your glam. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kendall! Oh, there she goes. Come on, try. We're supposed to be actors. Actresses. This is tough to listen to as a as a listener. This could just be a clip. <laughs> I like the lip quiver. Oh fuck! I can't get a tear to fall down. I First one to get can. a tear fall down gets a million dollars. Oh shit! Here they come. I didn't know it was for a million. It's for. A million. I can't believe this. I'm trying to think of someone dead. I can't believe this. I'm not thinking of anything. That's even creepier. <laughs> Just keep saying, I can't believe this. <laughs> I'm thinking of I that dead dog. Oh. oh, do I get one? I got one. <sighs> okay. Did you get it? Oh, you got it. I think you. Oh, you did. Thank you. That's why they call me Matt. I didn't even try. <sighs> oh, God. Yeah, so that's probably it. We're going snowboarding. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just end it right there? Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. I think it's just, yeah. No, just end it right there. Well, let's say we're going snowboarded. Yeah. Cut yeah. it. <laughs> let's shred gnar. Yeah. Cool. Foul ball!